My name is Eid Schmidt, I am the owner of Dahoman Molosser Kennel, I have been breeding Tosa Inus for more than 10 years. First, I want to say a few things about the breed itself. This dog is a Japanese Mastiff. The name Tosa Inu comes from the fact that Inu itself is the dog in Japan, from the town of Tosa, the basis for these dogs. For a very long time, this breed was not known outside Japan, because of its closed culture, almost little could be exported to other counties. After a while, when Japan became more open to the world, the dogs were already out. Respectively, Japanese breeders realized that there are gaps in the variety of the breed, and they were mixed with some European breeds. It is very important for this breed that they were used for dog fights for a long time, and even today. For Japanese people they were the symbols of perseverance and discipline. In reality, this dog represents these virtues even today. The breed itself, in its current state, also contains many European dogs as a genetic basis, which is why I would say the breed itself is in an extremely good state of health. Here, considering that for many dogs, this is in decline. Extremely robust genetics managed to develop in this breed, practically the dog itself, it was invented as a fighting dog. In today's world, they are tamed a bit, making them more of a companion, a very good guard dog, and so it's obvious that Met meets today's general needs, and they also hold their place in shows. There are practically four color variations here in Europe. One is red, it is the most common in this variety, it is black, it is striped and there is practically a very light color version. I can say that there are very few striped and very few blacks at all here in Europe, in this country, I could count them on one hand. The breed itself is like a family dog, and I think we're sharpening things up a bit for that, and extremely calm, extremely patient, extremely humane and overall a good companion. They practically treat the kids very gently, so that's all the feedback I've received from life, supported to the maximum. We can say that they can live together well with other pets as well. Because of their past and genetics, other the dogs are a bit of Tosa's Achilles heel, so to speak, since that's the point of the basic concept. So it is practically impossible to keep the same sex together, the bitch can be with the male, the male with the bitch can of course be. If two Tosas are from the same sex and kept together, sooner or later they have to be separated, as because serious ranking fights will definitely arise. For Tosa, this can be extremely problematic. Because these dogs are big ones, the bitches can be a 50, 60, or even 70 kilograms, and male are even bigger, I have seen males around 100 kilograms, so they are really heavy and very strong dogs. Regardless, either temporarily in an apartment or in a yard of the right size, these dogs can be kept without any worries. They can behave very well towards people, and I think there is a basic thing I would add to all this. I could recommend Tosa to an owner with the right patience who doesn't want to dominate the dog. If a Tosa is respected in a good manner, the Tosa will do everything for men. Basically, it doesn't matter if it's a male or a bitch, it's true for both sexes. These dogs were able to retain their old functions, but were practically perfectly adaptable to current, civilized expectations. The other thing that is very important is that they are very healthy and free from the general illnesses characteristic of big modern breeds. In practice, we can say that skin sensitivity is a non-existent concept, the different kinds of joint problems and dysplasia is not common in them. With regard to reproduction, they can reproduce naturally, they do not need to be artificially intervened, as in the case of an extremely large breeds many times. They have preserved the vital things that many dogs have lost here over the decades and centuries. When it comes to feeding I also say my experience is that this raw feeding is probably the best for them. I don't want to comment on nutrition here, but in my opinion, for a large dog, this is the simplest and best and most proven solution. Basically, you have to pay close attention to the fact that these dogs, especially when you buy a puppy, can produce an awful explosion-like growth. Here is the point when the owner has to make sure that the feeding does not increase the soft tissues too much, because then an imbalance develops, which means that we will have a large mass and a weak skeletal structure. With Tosas, you have to be very careful with feeding and overfeeding until the whole skeleton structure is developed, which comes around two years of age. The Tosa is a lately maturing dog, this is true in every way, but most of all t their body shape, it is a late maturing dog in every way. 
Basically protein is one of the pivotal issues, I see that average slaughterhouse byproducts are ideal for them, like chicken parts, beef or pork parts. Here the latter must be cooked, the former too can be safely raw. But the bottom line is that the protein content of these meats are not too high, around 20%, which is perfectly enough for the dog to grow properly. The dog can also absorb a sufficient amount of materials with this food, which is perfect for their entire physical development, and here I am thinking primarily of their joints. And then you don't have to fill the dog with various conoid sulfates and other such supplements, because you get what you need from this raw food. I usually recommend that such person should choose the Tosa who live in a family. Tosa for someone who lives in a family. The ideal owner must have enough time to deal with the dog on a daily basis, I wouldn't give the number of hours, but you should definitely spend a lot of time with them. This breed requires closeness to people, contact with the owner and the family, as they love children very much. It is also very important that this breed is ideal for a person who does not want to crush or rule this dog, but can handle them as a partner or a family member. This dog is not suitable for those persons who cannot give them enough space for movement, as they are big, energetic, and they require a lot of movement. I think should not this dog in a 40 or 50 square meter yard because they are not suitable for this. I think that if someone takes these aspects into account seriously, they will find an extremely ideal, pleasant companion in this dog, and they will have a lot of fun in it. Virtually all the other things about the breed are very similar to keeping Mastiff type Molosser dogs. This dog has no extreme needs, they are well and strongly built, and have a very good temperament in all respects. No special expectations. Once again from the point of view of the owner, who is consistent enough and can handle the Tosa as a friend and family member, will find the ideal dog from himself and he form of the Tosa Inu.